In this video, we'll combine the Parse.ls bundler with WordPress. This will enable us to write modern JavaScript and SCSS with minimal configuration. Firstly, in our WordPress installation, we're going to want to create a theme in the Themes folder. I'll name this theme Adam the Dev. We now want to create three default files that are required by WordPress. The first one is functions.php, the second is index.php, and the third is style.css. Let's open the style.css file up and add some comments to the top. Feel free to pause the video and copy what I've written. This essentially tells WordPress information about our theme. So we can now open up the index.php file. As I mentioned earlier, we're not going to go into details with the PHP side of things, so we're just going to type out some default code. This is just going to enable us to see if our styling is working later. We now want to open up our theme directory in a terminal window. If you don't have Node.js and npm installed, now is the time to do that. Once they're installed, you just want to run npm init in the project directory. This is going to initialize our project. You can just hit enter through all these points unless you want to fill them out. We are now going to install the parcel bundler by running this command. Adding hyphen hyphen save dev to the end of the command ensures that it adds the dependency to the package.json file. So now let's open up the package.json file and add the new script. This script is going to be called watch and you can just pause the video and copy this code. It's essentially going to watch the dev folder, the scripts file, and it's going to output the result to the prod folder. So within the theme directory, let's create a folder called dev. And within there, let's create a file called scripts.js and a file called styles.scss. In the styles.scss file, I'm just going to write a body tag and I'm going to do height 100vh and I'm going to do background color red. This is just so we can see if it's working or not. And within the scripts file, I'm just going to do import dot forward slash styles.scss. This is going to import our scss file and it's going to compile it down for us. Now let's run npm run watch and let's see if it generates the production folder for us. Okay, great. So that folder has been generated. So now that's all we need to do is include the CSS file and the JavaScript file within our functions.php file. So firstly, I'm going to create a comment so we know what the function is about. And then I'm going to create a function called Adam the Dev Scripts. We then want to add a wnq style function so we can enqueue our style sheet. I've also noticed that the style sheet is called scripts.css, which isn't a big issue, but there are ways around it if you look into the parcel documentation. Let's now do the same thing for the script so we can use wnq script and add the URL for our script file. And finally, let's add the action so we can execute the function. Of course, in the real case scenario, this functions file will have a lot more data in there. It's just I'm keeping it short for the purposes of a tutorial. And now we can just head into our WordPress admin area and activate the theme. If we head to the front of the site, we can see that the background is now red. And just to show you the parcel is working, I'll change the color of the background to blue. As you can see, it automatically refreshes it for us. I'll also add an alert into the scripts file and it does the same there as well. This should increase your WordPress workflow dramatically. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button.